<laughs> we're back and um, before the commercial break we were talking to <laughs> citizen coffee yeah. dr amwa mm -hmm. telling us the magic of how he was able to get western union into ghana and then africa mm -hmm. so we, we so yes so anyway the technology didn't exist so western union people told me coffee there's nothing we can do that's the end of the show that your country doesn't have the technology, the technology that will make this possible here again, young people, listen, I won't give up. I started making phone calls. I must, I've talked to about 80 communication engineers. Wow. Then one guy said, do you have airlines in your country? I said, yeah, Ghana Airways. He said, I think you can use the airline reservation system hmm. to do what you want to do. Because basically, it's a technology that should, that should send a message from one point to another point say do ABC mm -hmm. and the airline reservation system is the same thing mm. Mr. A in India has bought a ticket he will give him this seat and, and so when he comes with a ticket you know give me a seat so that's similar and he also told me that the CETA is the is the is the global organization for all airlines and their headquarters is in Paris so maybe you should go and talk to them Wow <laughs> so I called CETA booked an appointment I flew to Paris, and when I walked in, the guy was like, ah, lucky guy. <laughs> I need some luck. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, why do you say that? He said, the conversation we had on the phone, we just installed a brand new system in Ghana, and we have excess capacity. Wow. This is the first time I'm getting good news about wow. what I'm trying to accomplish in Ghana. And when I came, the place was in Tudu, and then you know where Cedar House is, a city houses yeah. so we have to find a way to dig a tunnel to lay the the, the cable wow. all the way from there to city house and before we could connect train the people and then i went back to california and my job is to promote the business outside of ghana i didn't have any money to hire an advertisement company so i had to write things myself hooray <laughs> west union goes to ghana through ADB, Sunyani, Bekwai, you know. You wrote it yourself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> then, <laughs> I'll take it to the Ghana churches, and then I'll put it on the on the windscreen. Wow. I'll go to the restaurants uh, where Ghanaians go to eat, wow. and I'll do that. And as some little money came in, I started flying around, uh, promoting on the radio in Amsterdam, in Germany, in all over. And then the Ghana, the Ghana thing just took off. And the West Union was amazed. I said, I told you. There are people in Africa. I told you your business will be good there. So now, can I do the rest of Africa? Mm. Listen to what the guy told me. He's a friend of my Kofi. Come on, you from Ghana. You Africans don't like each other. How That's can what you he go? said. Yeah, he said, okay. I said, don't talk like that. When I came, you were not fully sure there was human beings there. <laughs> now we are friends, so we can talk. You know, so you, you, you let me do the rest of Africa. He said, I can go and try. So I started flying through the whole continent of Africa. Started with Ethiopia, signed them on, signed on Kenya, Tanzania, South Africa, Zambia, um, then Nigeria. And <laughs> 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 all over. And I'm so proud today not to blow my own horn. But when I travel through Africa and I see the West Union sign, sign that didn't exist before, and with all the hundreds of thousands of people that it has employed, and the billions of dollars that are being pumped into the various African economies. Each one of us can take on any assignment and take it to the end, help ourselves and help our people. I believe in that. <laughs> wow, what an amazing story. Very, very yeah. amazing story. Yeah. Whoa. There's a lot of lessons in there. Lots of lessons. It's not in just there. about money, it's about pursuing but a dream and not giving up and doing because you had every reason to give up by the oh, way yeah. every, from day from the first step you had every reason to give yes, up exactly but what were you seeing what kept you going where i don't go to a I, point that i became possessed that this thing i think there's something in there and that it some of these things need somebody who believes in it to bring all the points together to make it work i mean if you go back and read the biography of all these great people and all of that you, you know, there's it's a lot of things in there you know i mean uh, the apple guy yeah. uh, he should have given up yeah. um, <laughs> even bill gates when he tells his story at some point he should have given, should up. Have given up so don't give up believe in what you're doing and they say that 
most success, 90% of what needs to happen for you to succeed is within your hands. 90% is within your hands. And therefore, that means that your own future success can be written by you, of course, with the blessings and guidance of the Lord. And the church says, Amen. <laughs> Another point, um, and this is, you know, but, but because of what you did, uh, and it is, they didn't have money to pay you, mm -hmm. but right now I hear commission on any transaction. <laughs> 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 uh, well, you, you get, even well, if you get point whatever commission on any transaction, no, you are made up for. No, it's good, it's good. You get, you know, commission, earning a commission is a good way of making money, yeah. uh, making a salary to it's okay um, <laughs> but you know I, I used to attend motivational seminars when i was looking for success yeah. so one time i quit my job i was looking for success so i was going to seminars here and there i'm with seminars you yeah, know yeah, I'm with and you. the guy one day the guy one guy said something i don't even know where he is he said if you want to make money try to find something that even in your sleep you'll be making money whoa you understand basically what he's saying wow. is that multiply your idea through other channels and other people, you know. Spread it in such a way that a lot of other people are also benefiting from your idea. Now, my formula for all these banks that I do business with in Africa is 60-40. I give them 60% and I take 40. You, know? you need to motivate your partners. Mm. You need to be more concerned if my partner is happy, mm. is, does my partner think it's fair, you know, in, in all days, you are a bank sitting in Kenya. Somebody comes and says, I'll buy all the computers, I'll do this, I'll do this, and I'll give you 60%. Believe me, they will cooperate with you to the full. Wow. And that's how it worked, you know. Wow. So the, 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 the lesson in here is that don't be selfish. Share. Make sure that, and I remember when I first came to Ghana and I was hiring people, because I saw somebody's proposal at the bank. And, and the project was so profitable, but what they're going to pay the, the employees mm. was the going rate, mm. you know. Mm. Mm. And I felt very bad. And the salary structure is so bad. So when I'm hiring people, I'll call them and I'll try to get to know them. Where do you live? How do you get from your home to here? How much does it cost you? How much does it cost you to go back? You know, so that at least you know that a certain basic level is covered. So that when they come to work, then you own their mind. Their mind is focused on yeah. whatever assignment yeah. you've given them. Yeah. And with that, you can create that family Return. environment that everybody feels that my skin is in the game. And therefore, I'm not just doing it uh, for Mr. KSM or for Kofi Amwa, you know, but I'm have doing it for myself to have yes. a stake in it. Yes. And I think that uh, I, I, I'm not paying as, as, as exaggerous salaries in my company, but I try to do my best. And I think that all those of us who are, are blessed by God to have businesses and have people come and work with us, yes, there are challenges. I'm sure your cost of electricity here, you know, you probably have a generator. I mean, so, but if there is room, you know, and employees too must understand. If, if, if there's no room, there's no room. If there's room, we must do our best to elevate the salary structure of our young brothers and sisters. So they too must be motivated and they also add and improve their productivity for the enterprise. <laughs> wow. And just to let you know, I'm sure they'll come to me after the... <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are the, in the trouble. Crew, the crew will line up. You are know, but you had to wonder what the doctor said. <laughs> But well, they were, they were, you have created opportunity for them, so you work together and all that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Oh, doc, I mean, it's, it's been so great. Yes. Let's uh, just a little bit. Uh, mm. So, how do you relax? What do you do for fun? When? Oh, I used to uh, music and entertainment. You know, I had Citizen Coffee um, because of that. You know, so, so that it's a place that people can go and unwind and all that. But uh, lately, um, I travel a lot. I just came back from London last week. And, and when I travel to new cities, I usually make sure that there are some things in that city that are fascinating, and I try to go and, and mm. check them out. Mm -hmm. you know, so, what happened um, with Citizen Coffee, man? It was 
rocking for a while and wh wh what happened? You were not coming there often enough. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, they see KSM coming, then they too will come. And <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we had three solid years of fun. It was great. And for me, um, the, the greatest part for me was what I went to to create that edifice. Yeah. You know, going to the, the shows in Bologna in Italy to find the nicest tiles. And I remember when we were doing the sound system, I went to so many sound labs around the world, in Paris, in Italy, in Los Angeles, to, to the, 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 the level of production of sound. People, were, you know, and, and getting all of that to I come together, that. and the furniture, and the, this, and the, also the people who hired. We brought people from outside to train them, you know, train them in etiquette, in, in grooming, in, and train them how to serve. And when I go to some of these restaurants and the hotels, I see some of my ex-employees there, and it makes me happy that they were giving some good training. So the, the, the whole thing was to create something that I, a Ghanaian citizen, having had a chance to travel around the world, seen a lot of nice things to create something like that for my own country. And that at that time, we're trying to get investors to come and people come in there to be happy. And then amongst our own Ghanaians, to a place to go take our young people, our, our kids, our girlfriends, you know, and a place to go and relax. And the Ghanaian musicians, you know, created a platform. Uh, we started a comedy, comedy, comedy yeah. thing that yeah. I think you yeah. came there, Comedy yeah. Hour. Um, and and um, it, was, it, was, it was good. But this is also another lesson for me. Every business that I've started, that I've personally been involved, it works. When I leave it to other people, mm. it becomes a problem. And this is one of those areas where the patronage was not high enough. Mm. And, and that, that is not to blame anybody. It means that the management didn't have the strategy to create the patronage to be high enough. You know? uh, and it became a bit financial burdensome. Mm. And then the attitude of people start changing this and that and all that. But my investment is in the building mm -hmm. and I've moved my bank there. Oh, so your bank is there now? Yeah, the global, bank is access? global Access. Global yeah. Access, that's their headquarters. By the way, Global so. Access is only Global Access too. Yeah. And it's like, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So uh, Global Access, let me plug in here. You guys go and open accounts there and put your money there. <laughs> <laughs> and, we'll, <laughs> and we'll give you a loan when you need a loan. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> global Access. <so. laughs> Oh, so it's one of those things. Yeah, yes, listen, yeah. I'm so glad we finally got to sit down and chat. Yes, and and especially that you have given out such wisdom and inspiration mm -hmm. to the teeming youth of yes, Ghana who yeah. right now seem clueless and not understanding things. And I'm sure what you have said is going to put them, give them great perspectives into into how to succeed. You yeah. know, so I really really appreciate well, it. Thank you, thank you, Kate. Thank you for inviting me. You have also created a great platform. On this platform, you invite Ghanaians who have something to say. I told you before we came in, I've written some numbers down before. You brought some young people here who, who had made a car yeah, out of yeah. nothing. And, and you see, when we exhibit this part of our society, uh, then it begins to show that we also have something to offer the world. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, Kwame Nkuma used to say, because you started it first doesn't mean that it belongs to you. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. knowledge is knowledge. knowledge it may come to you right. first and not come to me later. So we, we, we are a great nation. Uh, I would like to see Ghana improve. I would like to see uh, Ghanaian citizens get the kind of jobs uh, that they need, get the kind of training that they need, and, and, and so that they too can have incomes. And once we have incomes, this bickering that we are having will all go away. Mm. Uh, but, but the bottom line is this. Each one of us, I think, must also assume the responsibility of our forward movement. Mm. When it comes time, I don't want to get political, but I must say this. When it comes time to vote, please, my brothers and sisters, listen to what everybody is saying. Mm. Listen, don't just say that this one is going to win automatically. Yeah. Put your vote wh where you feel you got the right answers. Mm. And with that, then we can all be a part of it mm. when it happens. Mm. Because the way things are now, the politics is the head of us. Yeah. And if, if things go well there, then a lot of things go well for us. But for you young people, don't wait for that. There are a lot of things you can do on your own. Your gut feel, get going. Whatever that your inkling is, start from right where you are and start going. You'll be amazed how far you can go. Put your hands together, man. Put your hands together.
You the man. Look, no, thank you, you, you so man. much. You the man. 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 I got it. Thank you so much, man. Thank it's, you. it's been a great inspiration. And for I'm sure you know that you know we always have like a two three guests you know mm -hmm. for your information this was a special show you are you are my only guest man. Oh, oh wow that's <laughs> <bad boy. laughs> you are only guest man thank you, thank and we've learned so that. much yes, and we appreciate yes. your coming thank you. and uh, folks save with global access <laughs> <laughs> don't cut this part out though <laughs> <laughs> stick around we shall be right back. <laughs>